It's 94.3 WYBC. I'm Daryl Huckabee with DD in the morning. Now, when it comes to making people laugh, this gentleman that I'm about to introduce you to, I put him in the category of the best of the best of the best of the best. Um, he's from my old stomping grounds when I used to program radio in D.C. We call it Chocolate City. But he's right. making his way to Springfield, Mass. at the MGM Friday, November 18th to be live and in person. And I'm talking about my man, Tommy Davidson. What's up? I'm coming. You know, I get around. I get around, man. Um, out of all the things that I do, stand-up is one of them. And, and um, that's been the winner for me, boy. I mean, that's that's where I do most of my work. That's where I, I make most of my influence. And it, it's what it's what keeps everything else straight. Stand up. Yeah. All. And, and you've been doing it for a long time. Like you're 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 a seasoned veteran. I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think 37 years this year. So that makes it uh, pretty seasony. Now, and let me give the website for people that want to buy tickets. It's massmutualcentered.com. Uh, Again, November 18th, the MGM in Springfield. Um, let me ask you this, going back in the day, when did you figure out that comedy was your thing? Uh, the second I hit the stage in D.C. At, at the worst strip club they got out there, a friend of mine asked me to try it. I got a job at a Ramada Inn as, a, as an assistant chef. So that's a good job at, at, at 18. Wait, you cook? I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> ready for that. I was in a training program during high school. Long story, but I, I ended up with some skills. Got the job at Ramada. My friend said, you stupid. You could be in Hollywood doing whatever you want. All them talents you got. You wasting your life. Hook me up with this club. Talk to the owner. The owner said, tell him come down here. I put him on for five minutes. So I went down there. Finally, he looked at me and said, go ahead. I said, what am I supposed to say? He said, I don't care what you say. Just say something, Tommy. And from the first thing I said, people laughed. I haven't stopped. Wow. You know, I added a little technique to the natural talent. Next thing you know, I was in L.A. In Living Color came. Everything was over. And then from there, it's it's, it's history. It's been a journey oh, yeah. since then. I a can't journey. believe it's been been so long since In Living Color. I, I mean, it seems like only yesterday. And that was classic. You, you're part of a classic comedy sitcom. One of the classics of all time right there. Never going to be nothing like it, boy. That had to be an experience. It was the best. I mean, I wouldn't be me. Jamie wouldn't be him. Keenan wouldn't be him. Jennifer wouldn't be her. I mean, it can go on. We wouldn't be us if it wasn't for that show. Because that show was us. The, sh the perfect thing about that show was we were the perfect cast for it. It's uh, it's iconic. I mean, the 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 chemistry that... You know, I don't know if anybody arranged it on purpose to put that crew of people together, but what came out of it was something beautiful, man. That I mean, I'm talking, like I said, iconic. And 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 the stories, the the journeys of all the individuals since then have been epic. Hey, Keenan is beautiful. He's the one that puts the team together. He saw he had a vision. I know all I know is that when we finally ended up in the same room and we were looking at each other, you know, because we knew our each other. We were like, oh, my God. That, it was like bringing together the Avengers. You know, it was like, you know, we got the big man over here. You know, <laughs> we got Stark over here. I mean, it was like, okay, well, now bring it. Yeah. Yeah. It really was yeah. like that, too. Now, fast forward. You've done a lot over the years and actually over the decades, I can say. I, I mean, I, mean I, I hope I don't make you or me feel old when I say over the decades. But here we are, fast forward today, because you have a lot going on right now. Yeah. Yeah, I always have. Always have. I mean, if, if I wasn't doing stand-up specials, I was doing something in TV, guest starring or something. If I wasn't doing that, I was doing movies back-to-back. -back. You know, animation back then. I did voiceovers. So I, I, I'm doing just as much now as I always did. I mean, I got the Proud Family. Yeah. How's that That's going? Us. Season going two, right? right? We're, oh, yeah. We're new, but we're going into our second season. Yeah. Congrats so on that. Disney Plus. So that's we're going to our second season around the world, mm. not just here. Nice. Yeah. And again, if you're just joining us, we're talking to Tommy Davidson. He's going to be performing at the MGM in Springfield November 18th alongside a host of other comedians, including Cat Williams, 
Um, talk about your 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 singing because you know I didn't even know that was part of your portfolio. You have a new single that just came out. I do, I do. I can't get it. You know, the thing about it is I want it to be on your radio format. You know what I mean? Uh, but I made a choice and I went into smooth jazz, and it's a great choice for me. Nice. Because I get the best that I can do with the people that 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 I love the most. You know. And that doesn't mean that I, you know, I don't have the ability to go into other music. It just doesn't, that industry right now is, it's just dominated by some powers that I, I really can't feel comfortable in. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I, how do you get into that? Yeah. You know, most of the songs is about shooting somebody and, and yeah. uh, either drinking uh, weed or jewelry and cars and everybody a hoe. So what am I going to do? <laughs> How am I going to, you know, what am I going to go? I'm a hoe. I'm a shooter, nigga. Plus, I got jewelry. I got a gun and some money. <laughs> now. Now. Now what? Well, we won't ever, we won't never say never. So some we things can change. Never. You know, hopefully the, the stars will align themselves so that you could piece something together that we can play in our format in, in R&B. So we're not going to rule that out. They already have. They already have. It's it's going to be, you know, somebody who pulls the trigger and plays me on that radio. It's just a matter of them saying that they want to do it. Yeah. You, if you heard I Know, have you heard I Know yet? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I mean, you can put I Know. You try and tell me that people wouldn't want to drive to work listening to I Know? Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to share or, that or, with or, our audience. Yeah, or people wouldn't be wanting to, you know, do housework or, or be at work and, and hear Sweet Reunion, my cut. Sweet yeah. Reunion. You know, a picnic or whatever you want to do, you don't put up, put on I know, along with summer madness and all the other stuff we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 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 really the way that it's the really that the way is things are constructed in radio. Right. But I, but that never was what was one of the things that artists had to worry about. You know, I think one of the focuses for an artist is do what feels good to you, do the best you can with that product. And it will meet the right ears or right. eyes. Right. You know, it's up to me yep. to put it there, yeah. to be responsible for my stuff, and let it go where it's going to go. Nice. Again, we're talking to Tommy Davidson. He's coming to the MGM in Springfield November 18th. So for someone that hasn't seen you on stage, give them a taste of what you, what can they expect? Well, you never know what to expect. First of all, you might get President Obama, and you might get him right now this morning. You might get him right up in your face. Uh, uh, Springfield, I know you are kind of a scared of a guy like that. I mean, it, it's institutions up there. There's, a, you know, there's a Harvard and all those, you know, kind of upper crust kind of places. But it's also Beantown. And and that's where New Edition came from. A little bit of love is all it takes. A little bit of love goes a long, long way. That's an obscure hit that's on one of their B-sides. But it's a great song, whatever. Trezvon's done good. Uh, uh, Ricky, uh, uh, Ronnie, and, and, and Mike's done good. Poison! <laughs> I always like that scream part of it. You know what I mean? Johnny Gill has done well. And, and of course, Bobby Brown has done well, then not done well, done well again, then not done well, and then done well again, and then not done well, and then right now, well again. So if we think about those things and we put them in proper perspective, especially if we're talking about being down, we're talking about mass, and 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 and, and the technical term up there is is the commonwealth of mass. So, so, so I thought I'd break it down just like that. Uh, uh, just, just like the uh, the Celtics when they were when they when they were on top. <laughs> Thank you, President Obama, aka Tommy Davidson. <laughs> you got me dying over here. Again, he's coming to the Springfield to MGM in Springfield, November eighteenth. So glad that uh, you're coming to our area. So I know a lot of people here are excited about you coming up. Again, you can get tickets at MassMutualCenter.com. I want to give away a pair of tickets as we close out right now, Tommy. So we're looking for caller number nine. Give us a call, 203-562-9430. I have a pair of tickets for you to hang out with the one, the only Tommy Davison, along with Cat Williams and a host of other comedy. If you want to get your laugh on, you want to feel good, you want to release some stress and anxiety, this is where you need to be. I guarantee you, my man right here, Tommy Davison, will help you woosa. Woosa is the, is the deal. I'm just happy to, to be out here still doing what I'm doing and um, know that there ain't no diss against my music right now. Them young boys is making some and girls are making some great music. You know, I just yeah. I just 
don't do that particular thing, but I can do something that you'll love too. And I've already done it. So here I go. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well, Tommy, thanks for joining us this morning. I appreciate your time. Uh, can't wait to see you on stage when you come up. And uh, congrats on all your success and all the future success, man. Keep doing what you're doing and, you know, entertaining people and making us feel good. And same to you, man. You, you're, you are surviving over year after year after year in a business that is about as tricky as it gets. Yeah, I've been in it for a while, and we connected yeah. back in the day when I was programming in D.C., so, you know, we've, we've crossed paths a number of times, so it's good to reconnect with you, and good to see that you're still doing well, my man. Oh, yeah, things are really good, man. Thank you, man. You got it. That's Tommy Davidson again at the MGM in Springfield, November 18th. Again, call the number nine right now, 203-562-9430. I'm Daryl Huckabee with DD in the morning on the Rhythm of the City, 94.3 WYBC. <laughs>